everybody, this is Buscade. We're from Deep Kloof in Soweto. I'm Rosemary Nolden, and I'm the founder and director of the Buscade Academy of String Teaching and Performance, and it's based in Deep Kloof, Soweto. Buscade is a, a music school where we teach stringed instruments uniquely. We perform and we teach. That's the main thrust of what we do. And we aim to teach to the highest possible international standards, but we are also really a, a social development program. So we are creating jobs. We are very much involved with the community. A child who is exposed to classical music, and I'm talking about listening, has enhanced academic awareness and abilities. A child who learns an instrument then gains probably 100% more. Music should be taught in all schools all over the world. It really is a very obvious lesson. Ah, it's so amazing, you know, and then it keeps them out of the street, you know. Because every time when she comes back from school, she knows that on Wednesday I must go to a music school. And then the other days, she's doing her practice at home. It's very interesting to see the young ones coming up, doing this thing, and then they will go places. Right, that's what I want to hear. Hi. Yeah, so pull it down a little bit. She's got a good ear. Good, very good indeed. What I love about teaching music is seeing a child gradually being transformed and, you know, the light being switched on. Ah, yeah, now I understand. And hearing and seeing the child developing into a fiddle player from, you know, sort of nothing. With the older ones, it's really exciting because I'm working towards overseas exams at the moment. And that is terribly hard work for these young people. The standard of, of overseas music colleges, and it's hard for all of us because we're very isolated. But you know, one, when one of them comes in and they can play through one of their pieces that they're doing for their exam all the way through, and it's sounding really, you know, excitingly great, and you can see how proud they are of the work that they've done, and then you know, there's nothing like it really. These are South African heroes.